Hey, Evan Reese here. Um, I was looking at the forum and Christopher was asking, um, he, he has some faulty topology. So I went to the link here and um, found this model and this is what we're talking about here. It's imported red and the name is red and it says contains faulty topology. Uh, and that's all the, cl the clues that we have. So first thing I'm gonna do is change this to translucent and look around and see if there's anything obvious. Um, and there's not. The next thing I would try is going over here and turning on highlight boundary edges. I already had it on because I was playing around with it. Uh, and there's nothing. So what that would do is show us that this is uh, has some sort of like non, like a surface edge or something. But this is coming in as a solid. So the next thing I would do is begin to chop it up and try to figure out where the faulty topology is. So I can use a plane and then the split command, and I'm gonna split this part with that plane, and I am not gonna keep both sides, um, but I can flip the, the part that I'm keeping, then edit my plane with the button, uh, final button checked, and I can scrub down through this. And I'm, wa I'm watching down here for this to turn black, because that'll tell us we just passed the area with the faulty topology. There we go. So we know it's in here somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna get in there and look closely. And um, you may, do you see it? <laughs> it's kind of subtle. Um, it's over here. So we have what's called zero thickness geometry. There's this face and that face and they kind of share an edge. Let me section through this to show you right there is our problem. So these these come to a point and um, the CAD is always trying to figure out what's inside the part and what's outside the part. And that's how it kind of mimics the fact that it's solid. And when you get down to this, you have zero thickness and it's like not really sure what's the inside and what's the outside. So that's how um, I would identify that. And then another approach, just wanted to toss this one out there, would be to um, use an extrude. So I'm going to come in here and draw a big circle. I'm oh, not sectioning. I'm going to sketch on this plane. And I'm going to, let's say if I didn't know where it was, um, I'm actually going to draw one circle that encompasses the whole thing. And then another circle as the area that we want to keep. Um, and we've got, let's see. All right, so we'll just do that. Uh, Shift E to extrude, and we'll remove, and we'll extrude this face. We'll go through all symmetric. Cool. And again, now this is black, which means that we don't have the the issue geometry. I'm going to check the final button, and I can use this little circle here. I'm going to hold Shift so we don't make any relations, and then we can use this as a little spotlight to come through and find our problem area. Um, so that's another way you can search for it. And then as far as fixing it goes, um, there's, there's one weird thing that I actually noticed when I was doing this uh, earlier, which is, um, if we don't use this circle like that and we extrude this, but we set it to intersect for some reason, it tricks on shape into thinking everything's okay. Um, I actually probably don't like this solution because it's more like uh, putting it under the rug a little bit. The, the geometry is still a problem. So another solution um, would be, oh, by the way, you can make this circle bigger than the whole thing. So ta-da, problem solved, but not really. Um, so the other solution would be to get rid of the zero thickness problem. So to do that, there's a, a ton of ways you can do that. But one would be, I have a custom feature that I wrote called Profile Sweeper that I just use to get a very quick circular sweep on any uh, edge. So we can do that and I can set it to add and merge with this and make it small. You know, if you didn't need that geometry. So now we've actually eliminated that error and Onshape can clearly tell what's inside and outside of this part now. Um, let me Let me show you. See that? So now it's not ambiguous anymore. Um, another solution would be to clean up the part. So 
Um, I'm gonna go back to my shaded view and we can just like, if you don't need all this detail, let's say this is an import and you're referencing it for a different design. Uh, it's actually better anyway, if you get rid of some detail. To do that simply, I'm gonna sketch on this face, Shift S, and then I'm just gonna complete the sketch because we have imprinting turned on. Now we have this kind of gray face with these two regions and I can just extrude that region up to here. Set it to add, and now we've blown through that whole thing. Now it's solid on the inside. So it's actually simpler anyway. It's gonna be easier if you're putting this in assemblies and stuff. Um, it doesn't have to render as many triangles and it'll rotate around easier. So you, you actually might wanna clean some of these other things up if you're gonna be putting it into a, um, a larger assembly. Okay. That was it. A quick one today. I hope you found that super handy. Thanks for watching.